a really important topic. Uh, thanks for bringing this to light for us. What exactly was the problem with the last bill? Why um, did it not uh, reach everyone equally? And who exactly uh, stood uh, to hurt the most? Well, Nira, as you mentioned, the relief disbursement back in March was historic and aggressive. But so many people are reporting that they never even actually got some of the benefit payments. So earlier this week, Bloomberg calculations found out that state unemployment agencies are still so backed up with claims that more than $100 billion of benefits owed are still have not been paid. People are still waiting to get their initial payments as negotiations for another stimulus go on. And as you mentioned, many of those people are black and brown, and many of them are black-owned small business owners. So that's just a few of the issues with the previous bill. There were also a number of issues with the payment protection program. Many of them have been reported, but some of the unreported issues are the fact that black business owners had problems applying for the PPP. Some black business owners who had previously turned, served time in prison were excluded from the benefits altogether, and many others were just flat out getting denied for these PPP loans, while other larger corporations, of course, were getting through there. So if you take all of that into yeah. account, plus the fact that black people already started this pandemic way further behind economically and the disproportionate impact of COVID-19 on minorities, this is turning a worse situation, even worse for black and brown communities. Nira? Yeah. Now, um, Jennifer, uh, the fact that um, you were talking about a lot of black businesses not receiving the aid they needed to receive um, as well as individuals, is this because um, the areas where these businesses and individuals are based um, just don't have um, the people necessary to administer that? I'm just trying to get to the bottom of why they didn't receive the aid. Yeah, I mean, a lot of it really has to do with these state unemployment agencies and these smaller parts of the country. So one of the notable things with this new stimulus that the Republicans are floating is taking away this supplemental $600 a week dispersed out to unemployed people and letting the states handle it. But the states have their own issues, obviously. And so, you know, it's, it's not going to end up working out if the federal government takes away that support and leaves it on the states to figure this out, because it, it, we might just end up with more people who are in an even more dire situation as these supplemental payments expire, as the moratorium on evictions uh, expires. You know, this is just becoming a really tough situation for people who are already, you know, sitting at home and waiting to get relief. Um, and these negotiations are going to continue mm. on. Nancy Pelosi is meeting with Republican leaders. Um, and so, you know, we're really going to have to watch how the next few days and, and weeks play out.